Hi there, Leo's got the Palo Santo lit. This is Kim here to do your reading. I hope that you guys are doing absolutely amazing. And if you aren't that after this reading, you'll be doing absolutely amazing. And I lit that Palo Santo. Now I got charcoal on me. All right, so visualize this divine white light and connect with me as it goes through your chakras, grounding you. Going up to that spirit in the sky. Mindful in a tidy house. Mm. A lot on the mind or just constantly thinking. I know it's usually talking about group think, but I'm not getting that necessarily with you all. Okay, well, let's just do some Oracle cards to start out, and let's see what the uh, beginning messages are for the Leo gang that's here currently. Wow, 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 wow. <sighs> nice. Nice. Do you see this? Of course you see this. Number two, beloved, radical acceptance. Sitting with this energy, it's a love that's coming even from the things that have really pissed you off or that are really currently pissing you off, okay? It is acceptance of the things that made you upset even. That's how this is coming across to me. Of course, I'm a human and I have my own things I go through too, but I am a Leo, so possibly what I'm going through is uh, similar to some of you all. So there's this um, grit in the teeth in a sense and having to, for Leo's, accepting that um, there's something about the energy that is making it hard to plan. <laughs> and something about things that are said or spoken to you or actions others take to you that you know aren't right that hurt but that you find out or that for, through some way there's a realization that oh it's true you know something was true <laughs> that wasn't right and then accepting it so in that sense you're even embracing and accepting some sort of um anger in that sense now of course it's all but it's all in love right so there's radical acceptance here too with all that is loving and good and kind um this is accepting all i see i see what looks like um wow <laughs> looks like a comet i guess it looks kind of like a comet what is that A dragonfly, a on flyer dragonfly. Tidy house is coming out again. So that is what we we're talking about. That's what we saw in the split. So needing clarity and organization, especially when plan or strategy isn't the number one thing, which is hard for Leo, very hard. Guess what? One to the two to the 23. Don't let it drive you crazy like Jim Carrey. 23, 23. Fortune's wheel, luck and right timing. You're ascending. One to the two. And there's something new that you're about to do or experience. And the in self spirit saying, have a beginner's mind. Oh gosh, that so goes with what I was saying. There's an energy here that feels like it might not be backing you up in the physical, in the 3D, uh, related to ancestors or loved ones, close people, people that should have been friends, and there's a radical acceptance of that. It's the energy that you need for the new cycle, the new season. Um, oh, there's a message of needing that not needing or needing this is weird okay how do i word this there is a need for you to not be comforted 
by what you used to be comforted by or by who <clears throat> you used to be comforted by because there's radical acceptance that in a way there was some kind of falseness of it in the beginning in in from the very get-go there was a condition on it and so the need for no comfort uh <laughs> the only option to walk on the tightrope even if there's no safety net it is the option and there's no plan that's what this energy feels like so the best thing you could do at this time is get clarity and organization a tidy house um when we clean the i don't i don't like this this is not a teaching channel this is definitely just i just read the cards right and to try to do the predictive things but when you clear out physical clutter uh, you're also making space you're energetically clearing clutter too truly it is true that you can think better um in spaces where there's less clutter and there's it like you you can even get i don't know what it is but it's the flow of consciousness it seems to flow easier more clear or something like that so fortunes will luck and right timing luck and right timing seeing something clearly radical acceptance higher front popping up okay oh and it's heating up in this room as soon as it starts channeling your energy as soon some powerful some powerful leos in the house evidently all right Mm -hmm. radical acceptance that there's something missing <laughs> and here's the spark though with the age of fire <clears throat> there's a rebirth occurring there's something where you're going to be extremely lucky and prosperous temperance was what i was saying about the, the right timing the divine timing <clears throat> Was I even saying that? I guess I wasn't talking about it. But this is timing. The, the luck and the right timing with that fortune's wheel. Temperance is coming across today as miracles. As this angel or elemental is clearing the storm. It's funneling it to go on its back. <laughs> So that whatever you're going through, even through the, the waves, even when everything else is cloudy and stormy, that you find peace, even in that. And it's being manipulated by this energy. So you know that it's talking about energies on your side. Ultimately, they're your energies, but it's, kind of, it's easier for me to view it as saying, you know, okay, this angel is going to help me do this or whatever it is, or this elemental, whatever it is that you know, to help make miracles in essence for your safety, for your peace. This is divine intervention. The three of water is celebration, abundance. They're all uh, grasping on this shell happy abundant laughing it's a reunion of a soul group is what i'm getting <clears throat> okay it's a a reunion of soul group meaning you may have this might be the first time even you meeting these energies or in the physical meeting these energies that's quite possible 1010 is a call to divine timing it is unwinding time to invest in yourself ace of earth reverse time to invest in yourself it's going to bring something really big i have the ten of earth which is in it's it's material satisfaction um and a completion here on 
on the earth plane. And the page of fire, the page of fire is this uh, fiery, passionate, new beginning. The ten of water in the reverse, just another freaking ten, 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 ten. There's big completions, but it being in the reverse makes me feel like what's missing. And what might have been missing was the radical acceptance of what was or is in order for you to be fired up enough to get on this new path where something is a little uncertain. But what you can be certain about is that it's leading you to huge completions. The ladybugs here representing luck like that, the luck and right timing, the fortunes will. Uh, prosperity, abundance. Ten of air being in the reverse makes me feel like you're ready to put something that was very painful in your past and um, rebirth, a comeback, but it's, it's someone who's more in alignment with their own truth by accepting some external truths that may have been like a hard pill to swallow. Ten, ten, ten. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Let's see. Let's see what else we have. Let's go to the... Let's do the animal spirit deck. I usually get some pretty good messages with this animal spirit. Well, who doesn't? Who doesn't love animal spirits? Just period. Alright. Wow, Leo. <laughs> Lion. Nightingale. Throat chakra, sing, sing, tell your story, share your story, tell your story in any creative way that you, that you want to, channel it, channel your own message in whatever it is that you feel called to do. I feel like that uh, light that's on both of those. Oh, the B. The B is, su is success with, with work, hard work, dedication, and success coming from that. There's a soul group. There's the high. When I when I'm thinking about hive mind or group think now, and I see this card, it's not about. Let's go ahead and clear this up. It's not about brainwashing. I'm not talking about that type of group think. <clears throat> I'm talking about the group think that works uh, on a soul level together for a certain purpose or a plan that's kind of like computer code. It's like embedded in the purpose and it looks different from everyone who comes here. It all looks different, but they're all working like towards a similar goal, a similar goal. And it's going hand in hand with this uh, three of cups, like all of the energies coming together to celebrate. Stand up for yourself. Have confidence. I have the scorpion. Goodness, this one's falling. And then I have another one falling. Hang on. The frog. I need to cleanse your energies we talk about toxic environments where there's there's in another need to clean spiritually clean physically clean the scorpion is ready like <laughs> that stinger is ready if it has to use it it will the claws are already out <laughs> like you're already uh ready to defend or do whatever you have to do It's not survival of the fittest. It's survival of you. <laughs> That's what's coming across. Have fun. Have play. This is totally opposite energy. The otter. <laughs> Love, happiness, playfulness. Um, kind of enjoying what you're doing. 
might be saying to socialize. Uh, you could socialize online if you're not able to get around to people or to hang out with, uh, you know what I mean, to go out with friends every now and then. If you're not able to do that, you can do that online. The frog is saying to really be careful about the energies that you're absorb not necessarily be careful more so be aware of the energies that you could be absorbing at this time as you are a light to others and like the light that attracts the moth and all the other bugs you're going to be attracting things that you want and a lot of other things that you don't want sometimes more of things that you don't want and so that's just the nature of being the light so the sun <clears throat> so Leo, your energy, the sun energy, is, it's very bright. You're going to have to watch out for things making you feel drained or moodiness that's due to that instead of, you know, whatever it is. There's something about luck and right timing. Standing up for yourself. Standing up for yourself, the scorpion. Imprisonment, unexpected income. What else for Leo? 16. Mm. This can be, um, sometimes this is talking about, other than, okay, look, the traditional, keep your thoughts positive, everything's gonna be great. If you're this uh, light, though, and you're the frog energy here, then there's also going to be thoughts and things and emotions and things that aren't yours. So maybe it's saying to pay attention carefully to your thoughts. Know that um, cleanse or detoxification might be necessary of those other energies. However, they're getting to you. Take time out for yourself to think. Be artistic. Creative. Create. And it also shows somebody that who's has another person heavily on their mind and it might be this soul group right people of your soul group your soul family imprisonment mm. imprisonment family room Else. <clears throat> courtship sudden wealth there is something here Oof. all right how am i gonna go about that i'm gonna say some of you well there's toxic energies with the associated with fam family <laughs> or uh, or um or the programming like the labels the negativity or the need to keep you small and bound or restricted has to, this something has to do everything to do with family who is your who is your family in a way it feels kind of like something is freeing you coming to the realization that you have soul soul members soul group family This feels so triggering. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This feels really triggering to me. Um, all right. So, can I get through this reading? Yeah, I can. I have courtship. I have sudden wealth. It's the 411. It's the information. It's the kind of information you need. There is a burning desire to come together. The missing element might be a partner. Who understands why your heart's on fire metaphorically and the fortunes will the luck and the right timing and the sudden wealth it's gonna help you break free from this this thing that for some reason somebody thought that you couldn't break free from keeping you safe and trapped and imprisoned 
it can all be mental. A lot of programming is definitely mostly mental. Um, there can be a reality to some of this too, and I hope not. There are those situations where you uh, you have to think really hard about how to get out of a certain situation or a certain environment or a certain person um, or place <laughs> because something was orchestrated and that's kind of what that feels like. It feels like that's kind of like the acceptance part. Uh, the radical acceptance that might not make you happy, but there is an energy that understands you within this soul group, okay? Hmm. False person. Message of concern. Courthouse community. And all of it. And the... Who's the false person? Let's go ahead and I'm going to put this one out here. Doesn't have to be the false person card doesn't have to be somebody false. It could be a couple of things. It could be that somebody's disguising themselves. I don't know. Maybe to help you. Okay. Maybe to help you. But the false person can also be somebody that at one time you thought was different, but their intentions being very well known, made known to you and, and not you not liking it oh she's oh if you could hear the conversations is what was going through my head oh if you could hear the conversations you would know somebody's intense and that is coming across to you in the form of your, your ex extreme emotion to a truth or a reality of acceptance there's secrets these secrets are being revealed the book what was hidden from you being revealed to you through divine gifts and abilities <laughs> and so there's going to be a how did that person know that type of energy because something is it has to be revealed because it's not the truth and all things that are false will be eventually revealed prison in reverse and the sun breaking free A gent, it could have to do with the older gentleman, a dad, a mentor, position, a person in a position of authority. Usually means well, however, cat. It also could be the person that's somebody different than who you thought. I have the cat, a loyal um, ally, kind of mysterious. The white cat, part of. I want to say part of like a hidden agenda, a hidden plan for somebody else. It was almost like a sacrifice for somebody else's comfort. Sacrificing like your life force for somebody else's comfort. It's not good. That's not a good energy. That's not a good energy. And there's and that's where I get this. There's a radical acceptance of it, so that. So, well, so the spirit says you can stand up and defend yourself. Even when it feels like a whole group might be like against or conspire or something like that, you know? It sounds far out there. It sounds almost woo woo, but it, those things happen. People do try to manipulate stuff. So, okay, I have the child. That can represent something that's just getting started, like the beginning stages of whatever this is. Of course, it can also be about a child or regarding a child. The tower, building something, the effort, when you're put in this consistent effort, if you're building something that is healthy, it's going to have longevity to it, consistency. 
be strong. The court, 23, makes in court shit makes you feel like somebody wants to be. Whoa, come on. <clears throat> I shuffled these. <laughs> the court makes you feel like there's going to be a coming together that will be in your face official, especially to any kind of energies that tried to suppress or hold you back. Because there's a divine masculine and a divine feminine. And these energies are super strong. Especially together. Always to, always together in spirit. But when they come together. Wow. That's my predictive. I think that's my predictive part of this. It has to do with the courtship and coming together. Have been something really messed up with this court energy too. Mm. So send the pain below. <laughs> send the pain below. That's funny. Okay, here's the house. So what you're building is got is solid is solid it has a firm foundation it has a nice thick roof thick glass uh windows you know maybe storm proof <laughs> windows do they make storm proof windows i'm sure they do and then you see even uh, the wheat here representing prosperity so this is a firm foundation whatever this is four four whatever this is you're meant to be exactly where you are for this sort of purpose and passion to come through the way that it is in this reading. Okay, and you're building something amazing. And this is all part of your odyssey. It's part of your journey. seems like the obstacle is coming together with your soul family or getting receiving the proper healing that you need ending old soul contracts that were not stable that when shook the roof fell in the water the elements came in the critters come in like you've got you have to you have to uh, figure out the obstacle is to figure out how to Uh, stop this <laughs> or this is like what is the current energy right now the obstacle get, getting together with your soul family the people that will be kind that care that are forgiving versus this uh, repetitive almost like a verbal like verbally abusive, like a, an energy that is just uh, what they say is mean over and over and over. You have that that energy of healing and socializing being wedged into those two issues. The obstacle of the mouth. Wow. Wow, spirit. We're going to end this. I'm going to end this. If you want a private reading, please, please reach out. I know. I could probably go on and on and on and on with this one. But, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Ten. Telling you major completions. Clairvoyance, clear seeing, clear sentience, clear feeling, YouTube platform, spiritual callings. Ascension number six, chemical ether, light quota, and body is 33%.
23. Further confirmation on your luck and right timing. 23, you have a zest for life and you're eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and you feel both to, or need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure is to be lived to the fullest. I am adventurous. So I have four, 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 you're protected, directed, supported, very much so divinely. These are some heavy energies, guys. Four, you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the hard work, the hard work, you are the hard work, <laughs> maybe you are the hard work. You bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable, dependable, I can't talk, I'm sorry, friend, partner, and colleague, I am stable. Is this energy 42 42 life is what you want it to be right computer code from galaxy of uh oh what is it hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy what is life is asterisk 42 it is the computer code for it's whatever you want it to be So something might need to be like reprogrammed for you. All right, number two, you have a great talent for finding solutions. Your intuitive and unbiased nature allows you to see all sides of any situation and advise others towards the most fair and beneficial outcome. I am diplomatic. All right, um, bottom of the deck, 26, tactful. You have a desire to succeed and will feel most accomplished when your work benefits others. Your intuitive awareness of what people want allows you to come up with innovative solutions to meet their needs. Oh, Archangel, no, not that one. I was going to do Archangel and Raphael, but it's in the other room. So let me find one more oracle. Oh, I got some beautiful angel answers. Yeah. No need to worry. No need to worry. And abundance. No need to worry and abundance. Choose a new direction. Especially when it comes to the mind, uh, your thoughts uh, and things like that. Opportunity. All right, so Leos, if you haven't subscribed already, do. I would love to have you here and uh, get you updated on future readings. So I'm sending you much love. Bye-bye.